Hey, what's up guys, Jack here with the Hobby Lair, and today we have a Combined Powers Premium Collection. I have never opened this box before in my life. I saw it at GameStop and it looked pretty cool. The best part about it is there's 11 packs in here, so it is super heavy for such a small box. I can't believe they actually managed to fit 11 packs in here. Usually this would be like three packs, you know? with a couple of promos. But the price tag also kind of makes up for that. I got this at the GameStop buy to get one free sale, which they're doing for their pro members this week. So, you know, take a look at that if you haven't already. But that made it, you know, maybe like 30-ish bucks instead of 42 bucks. 30 bucks for 11 booster packs. And these cool promos that none of them I have, these are all from the classic collections. So if you buy the super expensive $300, big old black box you can get all of these inside of it plus the zard the blast waves being well, like all the good stuff i never bought that yet i might get it in the future this is the only way you can get these outside of that for now and you get this really cool super large card as well this jumbo card in the back here we have the elemental forces at your command three foil cards featuring the three that we saw on the front there one foil card featuring mr mime three pokemon tool cards None of these are usable in your decks. None of them are playable. They're just all for collectible purposes. One foil oversized card and then 11 Pokemon TCG booster packs. Yeah, this is an interesting product. I don't think the pack selection is very good here, but we'll take a quick look. Let's crack this thing open. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so let's take a quick look at everything, starting with this jumbo part here, rising wind and arrow break. Yeah, so this CL is the classic collection set symbol or set abbreviation, whatever you want to call it. But this is a, uh, a cool little Lugia card. That's going straight into my jumbo card binder. All right, that's a little bit better. Let's check out some of these awesome cards here. So we have the Suicune EX, Drops in the Ocean. So yeah, the classic collection is the only place you can get these. These like super sparkly, over the top sparkly kind of cards. Mr. Mime here. Yeah, it's a very interesting hollow pattern. I kind of like it. I kind of dig it, especially on this Mr. Mime. I think this is a really cool card. I'm gonna set that one to the side. And we got the Lugia, we got the Ho-Oh. Scorching Charcoal. Again, so all of these have this CLC and they should say you can't play these. This card cannot be used at official tournaments. If you want to play with them at home with your friends, you know, that's totally cool, but you can't use these in tournaments or store play. And then these are kind of uh, useless for the most part because the Venusaur is attached to, the Charizard is attached to. So all of these item cards are cool, but they don't come with the requisite cards needed to play them. So yeah, if you want to get any of these cards and not have to shell out for that crazy $300 classic collection, you can definitely get it through this pack. And I think some of the coolest cards, like the Ho-EX, the Lugia EX, are actually really, really cool and nice to have. All right, we're just like sleeving these up in our little tap sleeves. It's always a good feeling to get some hits before you even open any packs. So we'll set these in the back and let's check out our pack selection here. Paradox, Scarlet and Violet. Paradox, Obsidian Flames, all right. More Obsidian Flames. It's probably the one that we want the least of. Paradox, Scarlet, Scarlet, Violet. Oh, but we have the most of it. All right, so for 11 packs, it's three Scarlet and Violet packs, four Obsidian Flames packs, and four Paradox Rift packs. All right, so let's put these here. Let's see what we can get out of these. We'll start with the middle packs of the Obsidian Flames. I am still trying to pull the Zard out of this set. It is a very, very cool looking art. And uh, I've not had any luck pulling anything good out of Obsidian Flames, but we can always hope for the best. First pack though is a dud. Here's some code cards. Yeah, let me talk a little bit more about this sale. So with GameStop, they also do price matching on Amazon, uh, Target, etc. if it's sold and shipped by Amazon. So I was able to get some really, really good deals on Temporal Forces, ETBs, on Twilight Masquerade ETBs. 
with the price match plus the buy two get one free it was like 25 bucks a box which for etbs is a crazy good deal and they seem to have a lot of stock so they're just trying to get rid of it they don't care if you buy a couple oh we're not getting anything good out of obsidian flames though i guess it is kind of expected out of this set I don't think we're going to hit anything crazy here in our last pack either. And womp womp, it is why Obsidian Flames is one of the most disliked sets in Scarlet and Violet. All right, let's check out some base set. All right, three packs of base set here. Yeah, I think this is a cool product just because you get exclusive access to some of those classic collection things without having to buy the big old box. So, uh, yeah, pretty good. I wouldn't buy it at $42, though. Ooh, and our first hit is a Maraidan EX full art. Let's see if we can get some of that lovely texture in the video here. Yeah, that looks great. Oh, I love textured cards. This? Let's get that into a sleeve. Sleeve this guy right up. Boom. Two more. Let's see if we can get other goodies out of these. I don't have the all arts yet, so those are always nice. The SIR trainer cars. I'm always a fan of those just in general, so I would not mind a couple more of those, even though I have most of those already. Fido. Maraidan EX to go with our full art Maraidan EX. Okay, all right, all right. Not too bad. Let's put that right next to each other. Very cool to have both. And now we just need the all art. All right, are we going to do it? Are we going to go three for three on Maraidan EXs? I don't think I've ever had that happen before, where I get three of the same card, but all different types uh, in three consecutive packs, and we are not. So that's your smell like code card. Four more packs. We got Paradox Rift. Let's see what we can get. Hey, nice little Jirachi there. Pretty playable card. Parasol Lady. Very, very cool. Some Seer. Shinda Horsey. Hey, Tapu Koko EX. We're really going hard on the Lightning type Pokemon here with this opening. Glad I got this for around 30 bucks. Not getting anywhere close to 42 or 45 with tax. Dollars worth of value out of this, but I might be getting close to 30 with all the promos and everything. Still think I need a hit though in order to get to 30, but card there. Also, if you are getting these code cards, please let me know. Uh, in the comments below. Someone keeps redeeming them, but no one is telling me who is doing it. So I have no idea. Just say you got them. And uh, yeah, I'll know someone got them and not the bots or some automated thing that gets these code cards. All right, this is our final pack and we are off to the races. Yeah, we're gonna do more openings on the channel. We're gonna switch up our schedule to Monday, Wednesday, Fridays for videos. And I think we didn't get anything. So stay tuned for that. Let's take a quick look at our hits. So we got two cool little EXs. Maybe I'll make a deck with those. Nice little Fort Maraidon here. Love the colors on this, the purple, the pink. Got the Mr. Mime here, Lugia, Ho, and Suicune. So I want to recommend this product, but only as a one of, mainly just so you can pick up these promos and then open up 11 packs. I definitely wouldn't pick up more than one copy of this unless you want to play some of these Mr. Mimes, which you can't use in your deck anyway, so it's kind of pointless, but it is a very, very cool looking card. But yeah, if you're going to take advantage of the pro deals, let me know what you're picking up. If you're grabbing this box, let me know if you hit anything better than what I hit, because I didn't really hit much in this. But still a fun opening regardless. Like, subscribe, and like this stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.